Liam, not the brightest game of football, uh, a clean sheet, would that be the positive to take from that one? Yeah, so for both sides I think that's, that's the only positive we can say, clean sheet, don't think either side picked up an injury uh, and we're both in the draw for the next round so yeah, let's try and wrap the game up, the, the interview up and the fact that it was flat at the start, it was flat during the middle and it was flat at the end so there wasn't really much quality on the show from either side so you know, we go again and I'm sure both teams are putting better performances this season so hopefully one will turn up on Tuesday. Is it another game that you look at unbeaten and we just sort of carry on and, and you know, sort of getting the, the games and clocking the games up, another clean sheet, is it trying to find a positive for it? Yeah, well well it is a positive, you know, remain that and you know, what I will say, we had the 16 available because Liam Davis has cup tied. Gilly and Liam Meadows were both injured so we had the 16 so in terms of that 16 would have gone and played against Marine on Tuesday you know I wouldn't have treated that game any differently than I would this so uh, you know the difference would rather have been here is that Chester? Ask you about the injuries Gilchrist and Edwards how far away are they from full fitness? They'll both be alright for the weekend. So that gives you plenty more selection options and, and, and as you look through the squad is there anything else you're looking for in terms of strengthening? As I said we're always looking, always looking, I've got people out watching games for me all the time so uh, taking in potential, it's it's like the here, the now, the future. Uh, so you know, people always get brought highlighted up on one thing or another. So all I can say is that we we are busy looking. One of the players was in the 16 today, Andy Parry. Is he, is he sort of close to making a return to the to the team? Yeah. Again, if it w if it would have been Marine on Tuesday, Andy would have started. Uh, you know, was it fair to throw him in? At, you know, at Chester, probably not. However. If I had to put him on, I wouldn't actually fret uh, because you know, a lot of the football's in your head, isn't it? And he's normally one step ahead of most people. So, you know, brilliant, brilliant bonus to have him back. The game's coming thick and fast. So it's Chester Tuesday and then uh, onto the FA Cup on Saturday. Um, you just sort of look at it and, and is it just a case of playing games and, and, and continuing to establish a pattern within the team? Yeah, they're just, as I said, best thing in the world to play. I said, any, any player will tell you they prefer to play than train. So, you know, it's another game, it's a great stadium to go and play at Chester. It's a good game. You know, I don't think the referee went a bit card happy today and there was all kinds of people booked for any game where there wasn't really any bad tackles in the game. It's played in a good spirit. So, you know, hopefully Tuesday's the same. Thank you very much, Luke.